the recent months, there's been a lot of shootings and stabbings. Uh, it's getting out of control, really, to be honest. Our top story today, a man has been shot dead by police in an operation near the M62 motorway in Huddersfield. When I was growing up, Huddersfield was just another town that rarely made it to the news. I just heard about a stabbing in Berkeley on Blacker Road, actually, on my old road. But I was beginning to see that this place wasn't the sleepy town I'd left behind. How are you doing? You're right. How are you doing? You're Just right. by luck, one of the guys who was stabbed ran into this takeaway for help. What's your name? Manzur. Manzur. Mubin, yeah. The owner, Manzur, used to be a cop and probably saved his life. There's a lot of blood. So that's where he, that's where he was sat. So what, what happened? Young lad basically came running in, started strolling about a bit because he had blood pouring down his face. Did you see where he'd been stabbed? In his head, on his left side, um, and he had a puncture wound on his left. So I think he was very lucky, I'd say, because uh, a few more inches it would have been to the heart. So he could have been gone. It would have been a gone, I think. Is it happening a lot around here? Um, I think there's been a spate recently, and there has been an increase. Drugs and violence and knife crime, it's... I don't know, I don't understand. Why is it getting out of hand? I mean, the, the amount of young pushers that come in here. Yeah, for their food, I'm saying. Seriously? Yeah. And you know straight away who they are. Do you ever try chat to them? I try not to. You try not to? No. You just don't want to engage no. in that? I just don't expect to see that kind of thing on this street. I'm used to this place being very communal and, and very calm. While I was still getting my head around the double stabbing at night on my old street. Days later, there was a shooting around the corner in broad daylight at 2.30 in the afternoon. Since when does that happen in Huddersfield? Hey, how you doing? You're right, sorry. How you doing? Do you live around here? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what happened? I just heard a few gunshots over there and then his mum was like, oh, what's that? We just said it was fireworks. Yeah, yeah I was just thinking it's fireworks and I was like, just, it's Berkeley, people do stupid stuff. Yeah. But then next thing we know, the police Helicopters is there, are yeah. coming and stuff. Do you know what it might be linked to? That, I think it was three, three days ago, someone got stabbed near Berkeley and stuff like Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Just revenge or something, I don't know, gun and stuff. Sound like, um, did you hear anything? So he was a masked man with a gun and then he ran off. He was a what with a gun? A masked man with a, a gun. A masked man with a gun? A masked man with a gun, then he ran off. And then they saw um, an Asian man jump out of a car and said, don't take my number plate down. And then he ran off again uh, in the recent months. There's been a lot of shootings and stabbings. Uh, it's just getting out of control, really, to be honest. Can't even pop down to the shops without a um, bulletproof vest anymore. That's how bad it is. Bulletproof vest to go to the shops. If shootings and stabbings were really the new normal, this wasn't the West Yorkshire I remembered. I've got together a bunch of reports of firearms incidents since January 2017. So January 2017 is when Yasser Yacoub was shot. First one, that's in Deaton, Long Lane in Dalton. Gunshots were fired on Great Northern Street. Berkby, Berkby again, that's where I grew up. A gun was seized from a house in Hops Drive, Berkby, next to my old school. That is not the Berkby I remember. I'm running out of places to stick pins. And you can see as well that in particular areas, the areas that I guess are a bit poorer, if you add it up, in less than four years, there's been 200 firearms-related incidents. And when you look at it like that, it's meant to be a sleepy little town. It looks like a war zone. 